Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this problem. The question is find the Norton equivalent circuit at terminals AB. Okay, so to find out the Norton equivalent circuit, we need to do three steps. The first one is to find out the Norton resistance, which is Rn here. Rn actually uh, very similar to how do we find out the Thevenin resistance. So Rn and RTH is actually the same. And the second one will be finding the Norton current. Find In. And then the last step that we need to do is just to draw the circuits. And let's break it down into the steps. So the first thing that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin resistance or Norton resistance. In this case, Rn, right? So we need to turn off the sources. Turn off the sources. And what does that mean? For voltage source, we replace it with a short circuit and then for current source we replace it with open circuit okay let's see what can we get from this circuit here we replace this to ampere open to ampere current source with open circuit so we don't need to write this branch here we don't need to draw it and here we will have that for ohm resistor like this and then 12 volt voltage source will be replaced by short circuit so we just draw a cable here and then we will have 8 ohm so we'll have 8 ohm resistor and then we will have this 8 ohm here. Good. And then we still have this 5 ohm resistor here. And so this is terminal A. And this is terminal B. Good. And the Thevenin resistance or the Norton resistance is this here. So it is seen from the terminal AB. So this one will be 5 ohm. So in this case, we will have the Norton resistance here is 5 ohm in parallel with 8, 4, and 8 in series, right? In series, we just add them up. So we'll have 8 plus 4 and then plus 8 and so we have 5 parallel with this one will be 12 plus 8 20 we can calculate this 5 multiplied by 12 no 20 5 multiplied by 20 divided by 5 plus 20 and that will be 100 divided by 25 therefore we will have the norton resistance or equivalent to thevenin resistance that will be 100 divided by 25 that is 4 ohm and so we get the first important value here which is 4 ohm that is for the norton resistance the next step that we need to do is to find the norton current okay let's clean up the board first Okay, for the second step, we need to find out the Norton current. Find IN. What is IN? That is short circuit current at AB. Short circuit current at AB. Okay, let's redraw the circuit then. So we will have this. 2 ohm resistor, not 2 ohm resistor, 2 ampere current source, and then this will be 4 ohm resistor, 4 
ohm and then we will have this 12 volt voltage source 12 volt and then we will have that 8 ohm and we also have this 8 ohm and this one will be this 5 ohm and this is terminal A and this one will be terminal B so this is B A and we need to find out the short circuit current here this is I N or in this case is equal to A B right and because we shorted this A B all the current will pass through this one and not this 5 ohm resistor so we just can replace it with open circuit like this okay and here is the circuit that we can use for finding I N and let's see what we can we get here I think I will use uh, loop analysis so here is the loop i n right because the only current that passed through this is i n and then we have this loop here let's name this as i1 but then right off the bat we can get that i1 is equal to this current source so we will have i n i mean i1 is equal to 2 ampere Okay, but then for calculating I N, we need to do KVL. Let's do KVL at loop I N. KVL said that the sum of the current, the sum of the voltage, not current, sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Good. Now, let's start from this 12 volt voltage source. The current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So, we will have minus 12. And then, we will have plus 4 multiplied by... Currently, we are working on IN. So, IN first. And then, here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So, we'll have minus I1. Good. And then, we will have plus 8. The only current that passed through it is I N. And then we will have another 8 I N here from this resistor. And all of that will equal to 0. But then we know that I1 is 2 ampere. So we can replace this I1 with 2 ampere. 2. Okay, good. Now we will have minus 12 plus 4 i n minus 8 and then plus 16 i n all of that will equal to 0 and we will have minus 20 plus 20 i n is equal to 0 let's isolate i n so we'll have 20 i n is equal to 20 divide both sides by 20 so we will have i n is equal to 1 the unit will be in ampere and this is the second value that is very important in solving norton's theorem which is the norton current in this case we will have 1 ampere and the last step that we need to do is just draw the circuit let's do that Okay, the last step that we need to do is just draw the circuit. Draw the equivalent circuit. Okay, and first we have the current source, which is the IN here. IN is equal to 1 ampere. And that will be in parallel with the Norton resistance. So this is the Norton resistance like this. Our Rn 
and in this case that will be four of okay because we are working on terminal a b let's label the terminal here this is terminal a and finally this is terminal b and this is the answer for this question find the norton equivalent circuit at terminals a b okay thank you for watching hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation see you in the next video bye bye